welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Color. Hey, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. We talk about it every video. Vets, I love you. You have a place here. Don't fight this fight alone. In the links in the description, I always put uh, some, some, in the description, I put some links uh, to places that can give you some help if you're struggling vets. Please reach out to those folks. We support Leo over here. We back the blue. Uh, all law enforcement, corrections officers included in that. How do we do that, Scab? Well, we don't break the damn law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. That's our big saying. It'll take one time. You just got to stay in that fight. It's not about willpower. It's about staying in the fight. Well, guys, today I'm bringing to you another Cold Steel, another AUS 10A. This one I've been, been requested a good bit. It is the Spartan, Cold Steel Spartan, real quick, six inch handle, uh, four and a half inch blade, four millimeters thick. It does have the Emerson Wave technology. Uh, now, all of a sudden, since Patton ran out, Demco uh, mysteriously designed it and invented it. That's not true. Emerson uh, Wave technology, it'll always be that, and it'll always be acknowledged as that on this channel. Uh, I guess Demco patented this thumb stud. Good for him. Okay, he also designed this knife, which you have uh, kind of a copus, old school copus look, uh, with a Kukri style blade. Now, let me go ahead and tell you, I don't like the handle. I, I can say that to you right up front. I've said this a long and long and long, and I think people miss it. If you are a Cold Steel fan, you have a Cold Steel go-to. Some of them it's the XL Spada. Mine is the Rajah 2. Okay? I love that knife. I carry that knife all the time, as much as I can. A lot of guys carry this Spartan. So, do I like the knife? Yes. I love the blade style. I, I love the recurve. I love the whole deal. I hate the handle. I've got a bigger hand, and it feels like it mashes my finger in there. That's, that's my only knock. That's my only quip. Some people like it. I get it. Um, it is good for fast deployment. Now, let me tell you something, what I did on this one. I have a bunch of cold steel. Everybody knows that, and I keep looking. I was trying to find some other ones. Uh, but what I do a lot of times is if it's this Emerson design, if it's the wave technology where you just pull it out of your pocket, a lot of times, guys, especially with cold steel, because they will send you another pocket clip where you carry it ambidextrously, I carry it on my left side, okay? Just a quick pull, it's ready to go. And let me just say this, I hate the term self-defense. I hate talking about self-defense, all of that. But if you're going to carry something for self-defense, it stands to reason that, one, it has to be easily accessible. Okay? Because if you've ever been punched in the face, and 90% of the people have not, but you've ever been punched in the face real good, you don't have the presence of mind to go out and put it in my secret compartment. No, you got to pull it and pull it fast. Okay? That's the first thing. Second thing is you got to be able to have a blade that deploys or is open when it comes out. I'm telling you, if you've never been in that situation, you will not understand what I'm saying, okay? If you get blasted in the face, and I have, I've been sucker punched. I've seen a quick sheet of white, just a wall of white. The dumbass didn't have enough presence of mind to follow up with a punch, so he let me re recover. Had he, he could about thump me and I'd have fell over. He didn't, that was his folly. I promise you this, he'll never make that mistake again. But having said all that, all that stuff to the side, you want a knife that when you can get too fast, deploys quickly, that kind of thing. That's why a lot of times I'll put one of these in my left pocket. Cold Steel always sends an extra, uh, not always, but 99% of the time. All of my AUS 10A knives have come with a separate pocket clip and as ambidextrous carries. So this goes in my left pocket if I need to get to it. Now again, I'm right-handed. So it's not a natural movement. So, you know, you kind of got to be ready, kind of be going, and it didn't deploy. So now I look like a dumbass. There you go. Got it that time. So that's just a quick overview. We're going to do some cutting with it. Please do not think that I don't like this knife. I just don't like the handle. 
my hand is is a bigger hand and it feels like I'm like this. I've seen some people, oh, you could put somebody with it. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. All right. But having said that, that's my only gripe. And if listen, if this just came straight, you know, like the four max or something like that, I'd be fine with it. I just don't like this curve. That's it. That's the only dislike. Well, hey, let's go do some testing. Let's do a quick introduction, and then we'll get back to some verses in the next couple videos. Guys, quick reminder. I know we're running a little long. That's fine. Everybody's used to it. Our, our raffle is up and going. I've put pictures on Instagram. We're over 300 bucks, guys. That's phenomenal. We've already beat our other raffle. We're over $300. We've got another two weeks to go. Go to my uh, kickoff video for instructions. All right. Love y'all. God bless y'all. I will see you outside. Well, thank you, Scab. Here, we're just going to take about a minute and take a good look. We'll do some comparisons. Uh, here's the Captain Electro thickness test. Now, I'm pairing it here with the SE Avispa. You say, Scab, they're nowhere close. That's right. Uh, the Spartan, again, has a four and a half inch blade, uh, six inch handle. The Avispa is is your normal size, what everybody carries, what they would call a normal pocket knife. That's why I wanted to do that. Now, here it is up against the Medford Praetorian T. You can see that the Spartan is a big knife. It really is. It's a big, it's a pocket sword, just like many of Cold Steel's. Uh, there it is up against the Formax. It is four millimeters thick. That's one thing to bear in mind. Uh, just to give you a little idea, uh, on the Avispa, uh, the, hand, the, the blade is probably right at three and a half inches or three, um, yeah, about three, yeah, probably about three and, and, and three eighths with a three inch cutting surface with a handle uh, on the Avispa of five inches. So the Avispa is not small, it's an eight inch knife. But you can see how just how much bigger that Spartan really is. Now, I'm going to get some blowback on the handles. Guys, if you like the handles, man, hey, more power to you. Great throw there by Old Scabber. We're going to do the Donnie B all day drop test. Again, Scabbed out here looking lean. Got his short pants on. Uh, getting ready for work. Ready to go. Uh, going to have to head out here in a minute. But, but like I was saying, guys, if you like the handles, great. I'm not this I'm never gonna be one who tells you what to like and what not to like. All I can tell you is is what what it feels like to me. I have a bigger hand, a meteor hand, and it kind of pushes in. I will say this. I will will say this. I don't carry this knife much. I will start carrying it a little more. I think the first pairing we need to do with the Spartan probably needs to be the Raja two. You've got two uh, recurve blades. There, two Kakri style blades. There, I think it will be a phenomenal uh, battle. One's four and a half inches, the Spartan, one six inches. Uh, the Raja 2, uh, which everybody knows is my personal favorite, the Raja 2 has an eight inch handle, the Spartan a six. Now, 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 that six is curved up. So, and here's here's some right here. I had to hang my pinky finger off a little bit to do some chopping. This is where the handle became a discomfort for me. Again, it may be your perfect knife, so please don't think I'm knocking the knife and somehow knocking you. I, I don't care that much either way, to be honest with you. But, in all honesty, I just want to bring you the best review I can. If this blade had the uh, Raja 2's handle, I'd carry this thing every single day of my life. What we're going to see in these tests here now, I will say this. I was a little concerned about the chopping. It didn't do bad. But right here is where this knife shined. Right here, just doing some slicing. This is a slicing machine right here. So I think it'll be a great pairing against the Raja 2 and, you know, the XL Spada. But. I don't know that I've had a knife or tested a knife thus far. I know I hadn't had one of the cold steel folders that sliced as good as this knife did. Now, again, uh, one of my grail knives is the cold steel Colossus. 
I think I missed the boat on that one. That sucks because I really, really, really wanted that one or really want it. I hear it's a great slicer. But for the knives that I have uh, and the knives that I've been able to test, this Spartan is one of the best slicers all the way around. It's got the AUS 10A. Everybody knows I'm kind of a fan of that. I, I've got no qualms with it. It seems to be a really nice steel. Is it a, is it a premium steel? No. Um, I don't know if it's a budget, maybe a little over a budget. I'd, I'd say it's probably in there quality-wise. I don't know, because whatever I say, get argued with. I like AUS 10A. I've got a lot of knives in it. Never had a problem with it. Now, here we did some uh, little batoning, some light batoning. Now, a four and a half inch blade normally is not going to be your best batoning option. And in, in any kind of it's survival scoop, I, guys, listen, this ain't survival, okay? This is out in my front yard with all the neighbors going, what in the blue hell is he doing now? This is me surviving in my front yard, batoning a log. So in my front yard survival mode with a four and a half inch blade, it did quite well. The thickest part of this blade is about one, I'm measuring it now, is about one, I don't know, man, about one and nine sixteenths. No, about one and five eighths, something like that. So that's the thickest part. It's almost two. Um, you know, it, it, it's got a nice blade on it, a really good blade on it. Uh, maybe one and a half, I don't know. But it's a good slicer. It did pretty good on the batoning. The knife held up well. It's got that triad lock. Guys, all things considered, I, I do like this knife. Now, here we're doing some all-around-the-world batoning. You're going, what in the blue hell are you? I don't know. I baton several different ways. There we go. Looking good, Scab. Another drop test there. Just throwing that in for, for growth. And here we go. Scab got a Southern Yell hat on there. Looking good. Looking dapper as always. I just noticed I got a hole in my shirt. That's awesome. So right here again, this is an old uh, spear that I'd made some time ago. And it's that old beat up wood, it's that old dry wood. And the Spartan actually did a really, really good job. I, I used the thumb plate. Um, you know, the, the, the thumb plate's what triggers the Emerson design wave thing. But I use the thumb plate. I'll put my thumb there, imagine that on the thumb plate, to do my small work with. So it's got a great finger toil. That thumb plate makes for good. Now it doesn't have any jimping per se. But with that toil, guys, I don't know that you need a ton. It does have a little jimping on the spine of the handle, if you want to call it that, or ribs or, or whatever you want to call that. So pretty good little grip, not bad. But again, this knife handled very, very, very well. We did a little longer testing here than, than I had intended, but that shouldn't shock anybody. This is the actual edge that came on the knife. I haven't carried this much. Let's see what it'll do with this bottle, bottle of water right here. Here we go. We're going to hit it with the old backhand. Let's see what you got. Oh, twainage, son. Right in twain. Looking like the professional that Scab is right there. And then a few good little pokes and pulls, and we are in business. So all in all, guys, I've got to say, I enjoy, I am enjoying testing this knife. Now, we do some stuff here in a minute that's just dicking around. But I told y'all, we're not always going to put the super cool looking good shots in. It'll have, we'll have some of everything. Uh, there's my five-hour energy drink. Let's see if this knife, oh yeah, slicing right through the top there. Right through there. Look at that. Just skill, stealth, strength, all athleticism. Let's get a swig. Here's to you. Thank you, Scab. Appreciate that, son. Now we've got energy for the day. Oh, that's terrible. Whew. That's what wakes you up. It's not what's in it. It just tastes so bad. You're like, holy God, let me wake up. So, and now a little slicing of the five-hour energy. These things are tough, tough plastic. I'm being dead serious. So, what I'll do a lot of times is check to, uh, the sharpness of the knife. If it'll do that on a, oh yeah, yeah, hit it so hard it, it didn't even look like I hit it. We brought out the fiber optic cable here. Now here's where things went a little sideways, but that's okay. 
That's okay. Um, that coating is a tough, tough plastic, like a hard plastic type coating. Uh, I hit everything but the fiber optic there, except for about the third time, and then we got it. Uh, just stealth, sheer determination. Uh, keep grinding, keep working, outworking everybody, made sure that it, it got it in twain. Now, why do we do this? Because in the, for the past 10 years, I located uh, underground utility. There's Gab looking up. And one of the things I'd have to do is, is slide a little of this rubber off, hook up, and go. Now, let me say this, guys. Do not cut fiber optic cable. I don't know why I'm saying that, but I just I have a feeling that I probably need to put that in. Um, this is some stuff I had from long, long ago. Uh, somebody asked me if, if I could splice it. You know, was it? No. Uh -uh. And they were kidding, you know. But uh, don't mess with any fiber optic. Now, try a little push cut there. Why? I don't know why I would do that. But, I mean, you know, it kills some time. If y'all are still, at this point, if y'all are still with me in the video, you're, you guys are die hard, you know, ride and die type folks. Because I had it tuned out about three or four minutes ago. Overall, overall, the knife did everything I needed it to do. Now, what I'm going to do, there's no edge damage on it at all. What I'm going to do, and you say, well, Scabber shouldn't be. And no, there shouldn't. But just in case you didn't know, in that uh, fiber optic, there are some uh, copper wires. So we didn't get any edge damage. No chipping, nothing like that. What I'm going to do is I will uh, strop this blade really, really good. I'll strop the Rajah 2, and then we'll do a little head-to-head -head at some point this weekend. Now, here is that toe strap. This thing right here, this is why I like bringing this out. And again, this is the factory edge. All I did was run this knife through uh, over a strop a couple times, stand the edge back up. It actually did pretty good on this stuff right here now by the time we got to this point though guys remember we've cut fiber optic cable we've batoned i i, I spli sliced on a two by four on an oak limb so we've got a good amount of work done by the time we got here but again it cut right did it cut right through it like a razor no will it when we sharpen it up absolutely but it did hold up we got two or three solid cuts and then I got smart and stood on it to kind of emulate, you know, if it was actually strapped down or something. And the knife cut well. Of course, I probably showed that off camera because, you know, why not? Well, guys, listen. Again, if you're not in the raffle, you got about two weeks left. We're doing great. We're already over $300. Please get in that. It'll go to a great cause. My guy, Mikey, is giving away a free sharpening, I, and I'm more excited about that than anything. But Mikey says it best. He said, hey, never give up, never surrender, and everything will be all right. And he's right. I'm scab. You're not. And I'm gone, son.